Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Alexis Sanchez card to review today. So when I first initially reviewed this card, I saw him mostly being used through the middle because of the base card stats that he has, but this card has been drastically improved, right? Because if you take a look at his in-games, he's got five foot seven height, high, high work rates, right footed, four star, four star. Same bare minimum that you need for attackers nowadays, right? But it's the in-games that have been really, really nice, right? So for basic card stats he's got 99 acceleration on 94 sprint speed incredibly usable on the sides now you don't necessarily have to worry about improving that because of the other areas of the card that's really nice right his uh shooting's at 99 attacking positioning he's got 99 finishing 99 shot power he's gonna have 99 long shots 99 volleys again i focus mostly on the basic stats of the card more than the improved stats with the chemistry style but regardless it still looks pretty good uh passing on the card for base card stats look amazing you don't necessarily need to improve that and then the dribbling is essentially perfect right he's going to feel very fast in game because the five foot seven height he can have a big body type and with those stats he should still feel very responsive which he already did before so with this chemistry style improving the reactions by a plus five even better right but increasing the shooting as much as possible is Obviously important, so you can shoot from most angles, mostly from the specific, um, you know, effective ones that, night, that like to work all the time. Uh, but the dribbling looks awesome. Defending obviously doesn't have defensive stats, but now he has 90 stamina with 90 strength, 96 aggression, and 99 jumping. Like, the card looks unbelievable. He looks really, really good. So, um, with the way that this team is set up, because this Lozano is a high-low, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're also a high-low. Oh, you're a high medium, and you're a high medium as well, right? Okay, so the way that I'm going to set this up then, because I want to use them in like different ways here, is mostly 4-2-3-1, as we normally do. Uh, we're going to have... You know what? This setup actually makes the most sense. Because 5-star weak foot, yeah, having him up top actually makes the most sense. And then through the middle as well, because then I could just switch that. And the balance would still be very good because of the high medium up top with the high high in the middle, right? But just because of the work rates of the team right now with, with one person being on a high low, it's actually quite nice. Yeah. Okay, so instructions will just have them on basic. These guys will just be on basic as well. Nothing crazy. We can leave cut pass lane. I don't like cut pass lanes. My boy Abra does. I just, I'm not a huge fan. We also have to switch this to here. And then we'll do that. So let's try them on the striker position. That way we'll be able to test out what he's like playing through the middle anyways, because they always, with high, high work rate of players, like this card is, uh, they like to rotate a lot with cams, right? Um, definitely very noticeable from Sanchez before when I was using him in the cam spot, and it's no different when you put these types of players up top in the striker position, but maybe it could be different, who knows? We'll see, uh, we'll see how he plays in game. Is this like a default name? Because I see this name pretty often, unless it's like the same dude playing all the time. <laughs> Ooh, nice little layoff right there. Oh, look at how aggressive he is just moving all over the place. He actually changes his runs. That's actually solid. Super fast on the dribbles as well. So you see the little rotation that he does? How he kind of comes into the middle, plays off of the other cam? He does the same thing with, uh, with this upgraded card as well. So it's definitely a characteristic trait that... Sticks with this card for sure. Oh, am I going to score that? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I actually had no idea what was going on. He's definitely like playing off of my dribbles, which is nice. 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 First time shot. Oh, with his weak foot too, man. See, situations like that when you have like high composure and really good shooting stats is awesome. Attacking positioning was great there as well. Once he made that pass, he utilized the space into the into the middle and scores the opportunity. Really nice. That was a great goal. This card does feel significantly better than his one before, that's for sure. He 100% feels like an actual center forward, though. Just the way that he moves around the pitch, 
he 100% moves like a center forward. He'd be actually really sick in like a 4-3-3 false 9. He'd be dope like that. Oh, wow. He's able to do two different things there to defend, man. That's a bad decision by him, and his defender could still get that ball for him. That's crazy. All right, guys. So, that last game, we were using him up top in the striker position, which he moves really nicely. Definitely incredibly usable there. Um, I do want to try him out in the cam spot this time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit higher depth to not bore myself out of my mind. And we'll keep the width on four. Yeah, we'll keep it on four. See what's up. We'll do it. Well, we'll just put it on ten. Why not, right? Why not? Um, yeah, we'll just switch him to the uh, cam position this time with Dembele. No, Frank Ribery will play there. Lozano will play up top. There's the balance. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's try him out there. This guy's got a pretty cool team. Oh, uh, yeah. I think this is like the. I've seen a lot of people that have like a very similar team to this actually. Yeah, makes the aggressive run right there, but then really runs back into position, which is fantastic. Ooh, really wanted to try the finesse shot from there. Without the trait, he still takes a really powerful strike. Let's see how uh, close to the middle it is, though, when he actually hits this. Yeah, it's a very, it's a simple save for the goalie to make. Finesse shot trait just makes it push a little bit further, you know? Oh, wow. That almost, like, worked out on my favorite right there. That was a little weird. <laughs> See, so situations like that, like, if I were to make a regular team, that's the type of stuff that I really hate to see, right? I need the movement there to be an angled run. Like, the fact that he doesn't do it there actually ruins my attacking opportunity in general, right? So I could have scored in that situation if I just had better attacking AI players. Um, but the fact that I think it was Dembele that moved downwards because of the way the other players were moving is just not ideal, you know? So that's the type of stuff you analyze as you're playing, right? Like that type of stuff definitely uh, influences your results and what happens, right? Unless there was like a specific way for you to like specifically... Uh, you know, control the player's runs and, like, all that good stuff, but you obviously can't. See, I like that Alexis Sanchez does the angled runs, though. That's actually incredibly helpful. Very, very quick dribbles as well. Yeah, L-Trigger Shield dribbles are nice, too. There we go. Dembele. See? Dembele made a great run right there. That's where attacking AI is very, very important for you to score those opportunities. He did a fantastic job right there. Aggressive run there with Sanchez. Sticks through the middle. Still nice. Um, so far I kind of liked it more on the, uh, the, uh, striker position, actually, because of the rotation that he was constantly doing with the cam. It just worked really nicely. Personal preference, obviously. Yeah, it still makes a good pass right there. I'll take that. There we go. Quick dribbles. He never controlled the, uh, defender right there. They never, like, really fully nerfed that, because they still follow you a fair amount, but... Um, we were able to get the near post angle right there. I do have to switch a few things here, though, because uh, balance of the team is a little bit off. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to put Lozano over here, Dembele playing through the middle, and then we're going to try Sanchez over here. Yeah. We're going to try uh, Lozano with his high low on the side instead. I think Lozano's actually... Lozano's off the ball movement is actually pretty decent. It's just that uh, his high low is messing with the rest of the team and the way that they're moving. But regardless, I still should be able to try out Alexis Sanchez playing through the left attacking position this time. Mm 
that's where height is uh plays a huge part right there it's in moments like that where it's a little annoying obviously you, you have to compensate for it so you shouldn't be doing skill moves like that anyways but it's just a thing that uh you have to take into consideration when using a card like this Oh my god, what a strike. What a strike. Let's go, Alexis. Oh, I placed through the middle really nicely. This guy's going to give me the space here. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I once. <laughs> this is why attacking AI is so important. His defender was following my dude the entire time, and that's what gave me that space to work with, with Alexis Sanchez going through the middle. I like him. I like him on the sides. I do, and I think his off-the-ball movement is great on the sides. It's just that I feel like I'm wasting him there. It's one of those things, you know, like sometimes when you use like Ronaldo up, up top in the striker, then you use him on the side, you're like, why am I using him on the sides, you know? Uh, I feel the same way about using Sanchez... On the sides, even though you can use him there, he's really good. I want to try him out on the cam position again. Because I don't think I have any instructions, right? No, I don't. So You have to sometimes change uh, the player's positioning in your team. Because every other player affects the way that your player moves as well. So you have to always take that into consideration. It's so strange because I really, really like him up top in the striker position mostly, I would say. He definitely is the type of card where I like playing him through the middle, but just, just the way he moves in the striker position is awesome. All right, guys, so final verdict on this card. It wasn't Maestro, was it? Oh, yeah, I was about to say it's a marksman chemistry style. That doesn't make any sense. So there's two different chemistry styles you can give this card depending on how you want to play with him in the actual game. Uh, marksman would make the most sense if you want to use him through the middle. And a hawk chemistry style would make the most sense if you want to use him on the sides because of the extra plus five for the sprint speed. The shooting boost that you get with the marksman chemistry style is nice, but it's not going to be like incredibly noticeable all the time. Although in that situation where you shot or I shot with his weak foot and he was able to bang it across goal, that could be one of the situations where having 99 pretty much on every stat was probably the deciding factor on whether or not he would have scored that opportunity, right? Off the ball movement is great with this card playing through the middle and the sides. It definitely feels better than the card that he had before because of his base card stats being improved specifically for pace as well as dribbling to make him as responsive as possible. But uh, I think the card is really good, guys. It's a really, really fun card to use. He can really, really strike the ball. A shame he doesn't have the finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait, because then this card would be disgusting if he did. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed using the card. I think it's a card you guys will definitely enjoy if you guys ended up uh, keeping him. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next review. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.